Hey guys, let me know what you think by liking and commenting, and it really helps me and this channel out when you subscribe, so please click that button. Thanks a bunch! Hey everybody, I decided that since I often work on trains, I purchase a lot of trains and I keep many of them, many, many, but I also work on them just to sort of keep myself busy and to hone my skills, I figured I could film those sessions and share them with you. Part of the fun of this hobby for me is just looking at trains, just looking at what I find and just checking out. I get to learn a little bit of history at the same time. So it's, yeah, it's something I enjoy and maybe you do too and that's why I'm making these. Now I'm going to go through and see if these work and if they don't I'll try to do a quick diagnosis but I'm not going to spend a lot of time fixing them in this video. I'll do a separate video if I have to fix any. So if you see a train from your current hood or your childhood or something you want in the future let me know. I'd love to know about how these trains connect to people. That's one of the things I love most. Yeah, if you if you have one of these that rolled by your house when you were a kid or rolled by it now or something that you played with as a kid, gosh, I really, really hope you let me know about it. So, okay, without further ado, let's dig into this very first episode. Okay, well, uh, to celebrate this new series, um, before I get started, I am going to eat this. I guess this was an Easter present for me. And I love chocolate, and I love Peppa Pig. So, and I've never had one of these finders keepers. I guess this is sort of like those Kinder, whatever they are, from Germany. I don't even know. I don't even know what this is going to look like inside. Never had one. I'm trying to get a sense from the package. Okay, so they're so the egg and the toy are separate. Is that what the deal is? Uh, this is just a chocolate egg. Okay. Not excuse me. That's a hollow chocolate egg. It's pretty tasty actually. Okay, I'll finish that up later. It's a choking hazard. A nice case could be used for something. I'm going to get. Oh, which character is this? Susie Sheep. Perfect. Um, Susie Sheep will make a great mascot for this series, I think. She looks great. Does she do anything? No. Okay. Oh, it's not standing very well, though. Okay. All right. Let's start today with this, which I picked up in a, it's not really an estate sale. Some guy was moving all of his stuff because he's going to move to Florida. A lifelike HO, are these from the 70s or 80s? Something like that. Um, the box is, I'm not even sure why I'm opening the box. <laughs> Just, it's got no adhesive left on it at all, but we'll go ahead and take it out here anyway. Locomotive looks to be in pretty good shape. Let's make sure I take it out of the package right now. The package police will be on me. Um, okay, well, it's, it's obviously got some use. Let's take a look at the... Uh, it's not bad. What are these? They almost look like they're copper. I don't know quite what's going on here. I've never seen wheels quite this color. Okay, so one set of powered trucks, lifelike, made in China. I don't know if this serial number contains the year or not in any way, but um, okay, so this F7 looks pretty good. Some of the 
front decal is missing, but that's okay. I don't know if this is a great candidate for DCC conversion as is. Let's take a look inside. Pancake motor, it's really clean, looks really clean. Trick. So it looks like it's wanting to work. Looks like it's just going to have. I had to guess we're just looking at poor electrical pickups here. I think that's really going to be its only issue. Yeah, if I push down on it, it starts to run. Most likely we've just got contact issues. I think otherwise, she's going to be fun. Oops, sorry. I guess it's not super safe for you right there. Like this track is pretty dirty too. You know what? I should probably clean this track. Let me help. Hang on a second. Okay, got some text pads. It's basically just isopropyl alcohol in this convenient little pack. conversion. It might be just fun to run on the DC track once in a while. I've got a bunch of Union Pacific freight. That's a traction tire. It's a traction tire. So all the electrical is coming from this one end. That's all of it. Definitely probably won't handle my points very well. So if I did convert it, I'd need to use soundtracks. And so I could use that easy plug-in current keeper they've got. track is going to clean that last track, so it's kind of thinking about it. I don't know if it's even real properly, to be honest with you. All right. All right, well, not the... So it looks like it's it's pretty much just a, I'm sure the contacts are pretty lousy too, so I'll have to go back and work on those. But for now, we are just going to set him aside because I know he works and you know he works. Actually, it's a pretty nice looking little F7 to be honest with you. Got a lot of F units, I don't have any Union Pacific ones. This isn't the worst one, that's for sure. All right, so I think he's gonna need a bit of a cleaning, contact me cleaning. The, I don't know if I really feel like taking apart that pancake motor to clean it up, but I know it's not shorting. Well, I think 
it's it's going to work. So uh, I'll, I'll put them aside for cleaning. And I'll take care of that later. Okay, got another F unit. Uh, chassis system, it's a Bachman. Uh, I picked this up in the same place. Looks, uh, looks okay. Traction tires, the wheels look relatively clean. Are those driven? Um, I don't know. No, they're pretty stiff. So probably need some lubrication. Mm, I can just do that now. Let me grab some oil. Okay, I'm glad I'm doing this for you folks because that gives me an opportunity to get my workbench I'm kind of commandeered. Whoops, one of the guest rooms. here just to kind of get this going. Let's see. It's working. It's derailed slightly. pretty well actually you can definitely see the light I'm gonna lose power all of a sudden is that my is that the, this thing's fault or is that the model's fault I need to get a better contact setting hmm. Seems like it likes to run in reverse. It's a little weird. My my uh, power was turned all the way down. Oh, I had momentum on that side. No, it's still sending raw power. Very weird. My controller's sending raw power. Even though. It's, okay, well, I have a controller problem. Do I need to go get a new one? Maybe it's just because I had that momentum on. Oh. All right, well. It looks like it's because I had the momentum on. I accidentally flipped it because I, I can't watch both things here. Well, it works. It works pretty well. Okay. Does it have that same... Feels like it's got that same Bachman style pancake motor in it, if I'm not mistaken. Let's grab, let's grab a nail real quick. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's nifty. It's a front coupler, but it is a A unit, so it's not that big of a deal. I don't have base. I don't have any chassis system locum. I have like Baltimore and Ohio and Chesapeake and Ohio, but I don't have any straight up chassis system locomotive. So maybe we'll just add him to the fleet. We'll see. Again, it's I, these pancake motors from. Bachman are not the greatest DCC upgrade candidates, but um, we'll see. We'll see if that's what I want to do. So, pretty nice, pretty sharp. Looks like the details are okay. Looks like it's actually been pretty well cared for. In fact, it looks like it's been very well cared for. It's obviously been out. It's got some display dust and grime, but <laughs> it looks like... The sides were protected somehow. So there you go. Is this an F9? Is that what that is? F8 or F9? 
Someone can let me know. I, all of these sort of look the same to me, and I know there's a lot of crossover. So, yeah, it looks nice. I might end up keeping it. Oh. Okay, now, let's see. I still got time here. I've got Florida East Coast. Um, okay, Florida, what are these? BL2s? Is that what these are? They're BL2s, correct? The freight versions. Um, they are made also by another oh, HM Temp Mahano made, it looks like. Let's do one at a time. They use the same. They use the same, except this one. Let's see, is this a decal? Yes, he has added this as a decal. I can see the glint off of the decal. So I guess he wanted that symbol. He liked it. Let's see. Looks okay. Traction tires spin pretty freely. So it's going to be a pancake style motor. Let's just put her on the track. Okay. Well, it did sound okay. I didn't clean that. I, I need to clean that. This curve track. That's why. As soon as it gets over there, it just stumbles because that part of the track is in really bad shape. This is like the worst track that I had. That's why I brought it up here. Yeah, it's, it's actually rust. I think that's on there or something. And... Looks nice. Looks cool. I like these BL2s, actually. I think it's a nifty locomotive. I only have one in my fleet. It's a Chesapeake in Ohio, and I don't have any Florida East Coast. So it's kind of a nice back-to-back -back set, right? Those are... Could use a little cleaning. It looks like somebody's replace the traction tires, but it's, it feels okay. What's going on here? Why is this not? What's going on? Why doesn't this? This was just okay a moment ago, right? Oh, there we go. Okay. Hopefully I turned it the right way or it has directional pickup, so it won't short my Oh, lights on. I got no movement. So, hmm. Maybe I twisted that the wrong way. Maybe it, no, it won't go this way, so it has to be right. This looks just like it needs to be clean. Maybe the motor does, but mm. oh, I've got no light. Am I real properly? It's, I'm gonna keep knocking over our mascot. Okay, so. Hmm. Is this screwed together? Or is this, a, is this a prime lift? Feels like it's gonna come apart. I don't have any experience with these, so. Thank you. 
okay. Looks like we got a, whoops. Looks like we've got a, ooh, a very dirty commutator. That probably isn't helping. Everything else looks like someone's oiled this, but look, ooh, man, this, these brushes on this commutator. Let me see if I can get better light on this. Oh, I've got really poor brush contact, it looks like. Very poor brush contact. Oh, in fact, they're, they're wiggling all over the place. Okay, well, that's certainly not going to help this thing spin up, so I am going to have to fix that, and that should help us, yeah, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to spend some time, oh, well, this definitely won't help, okay, oh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to have to kind of go back and wire all that together, because definitely if the brushes aren't touching the commutator, this one, this one's working nice though, so not sure if we keep it, but the other one definitely needs a fixin', so we'll set it aside, and I will work on that. Our F unit, looks like F7, F8, one of them here. A nice bicentennial has some display wear, a fair amount. Well, it's not bad, actually. This uh, makes this here. It's a Tyco. I don't have one of these. I don't have a lot of Tyco because they're not good candidates for DCC conversion. So I don't muck with them a lot. Hmm. This is going to be that power torque horrible thing, but what's weird is it looks like it's hardly been run at all. So I'm not quite sure. Some stuff needs to be cleaned off. I don't see a light, but I don't know if it's a it's running pretty low. God, I keep accidentally hitting that momentum switch because I'm not watching what I'm doing. Ah, uh, it runs really well. God, someone either didn't run it a lot or they took care of it right before I got it. Yeah, that's actually the one of the best running ones of this batch. Uh, so, I don't wanna take this apart because if I do, this whole thing's gonna come out and I'd rather just not, I don't have to anyway. I can't see if there's a light. I don't think there is one. a nice shape it looks uh, looks like someone running on the carpet or something looks like there's some crap in there but I'm not gonna bother with that right now I don't have a tweezer that small I'm just gonna leave it because all these sort of need to be cleaned but boy the wheels are in good shape those could stand to be cleaned a little bit but overall this is kind of surprising so, fair enough, fair enough. All right, well, this is going pretty fast. I don't want to hold you too long, so I will leave it at that for the day. So right now I've got one to repair, which is this one. I think these brushes just need to, I mean, they've just completely come off of, I'll have to look at another one to see how this is done. And I think it, and I'll clean this commutator. Um, I need to get some of those Q-tips that don't leave fibers. And hopefully after that, it'll, it'll run. Right now it's just sort of a 
it's just sort of yucky. But I think other than that, we're in good shape. So that's, that's it for today. I don't want to keep you very long with these and I'm, I just do this anyway. So I figured I might as well film it. And if somebody enjoys this kind of thing, then you might get something out of it too. So that's what I've got for you today. I'll do a couple more next time, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. It really depends. So take care and uh, we'll look forward to having Susie Sheep um, as our mascot for this whole series. And take care. I'll, I'll talk at you later. Okay, happy model railroading. Take care.